So if you've ended up in the same position as me, and I know at least one of you has, looking at you, Norma, here's how to sort it. Now, in order to use this method, you need to do it on a desktop on your Mac. I imagine it's the same on the PC, but I haven't tested it because I haven't got one. So if you've got a PC and you managed to test this out and it works, I'd love it if you could let us know in the comments below so other people know. But I'm on a Mac and this is definitely the easiest way I've found to do it. I haven't found any way to do it on the iPhone or the iPad, unfortunately. So what we're going to be doing basically Basically is setting up searches in order to batch categorize the recipes. So let's go over to Paprika. Now, this only works if you're in a particular view within this section of uncategorized. So let me show you. So we've got three views to the top left above all of your recipes. Um, there's the view that's got the little thumbnail picture and the title. This method doesn't work in that one at all. Um, then you've got the view that's all thumbnails. You can make this work in this one if this is your preference to work like this. I find with the amount of recipes I've got uncategorized, it's just too much with all the images. So the one that I'd recommend that you go into is this middle one, which is a list view without thumbnails. And once you're in there, you can see how many recipes you've got. And the reason we're in this view is it allows us to batch edit. So this is the winner. So to batch edit, what you do is select one of your recipes, then hold down the shift key, and then go down to however many it is that you want to put in one category. And then once they're all colored and you know you've got a batch edit going on, we can just hold down the cursor and drag them across to whatever category you want to put them in. So here's some of the ways that I decide how to sort them out and what categories to put in. But all of our brains are different. So my best advice to you is to just have a think before you start moving everything around. Where would I go if I was looking for this kind of recipe? And don't worry if you miscategorize or maybe you want to have things in more than one category. Well, I'm going to show you how to add multi categories to one recipe later on in the video. So I'm going to go to the top left uh, above the recipes and at the very left, we've got searching in or yours may look like this, searching in name or something else. And this is how we get them into some kind of order. So one of the problems I come up with every year is that I have a kitchen garden here and I grow food. So suddenly I've got absolutely millions of tomatoes or courgettes, zucchini or squash. So one of the things I'm always looking for new recipes for is for courgettes or zucchini. You'll know this if you're a gardener, there tends to be a glut. Now, I don't want to find recipes that have just got like a tablespoon of grated zucchini or something. I want to find recipes where the zucchini or the courgette is the star, because then I know it's likely that there's going to be a lot of courgette or zucchini in the recipe. So I'm going to set the search here to name only. And now make sure I'm still in uncategorized. I'm in name only. And let's see if any of these... Oh, oh, we've got one there under courgettes. And what you do to get them into your categories without laboriously opening them is to just drag them over. And this is a subcategory for me. Now, hang on a minute. Courgette is a UK term, probably elsewhere in the world. Tell me, what do you call these things? But I do know in America, and I think in Canada, that they are zucchini. So I'm also going to look at under zucchini. I'm going to click on the first recipe, hold down my shift key, click on the second recipe, and I'm going to pull those across into courgettes because I'm British. So I'm always looking to add to my vegan category. So I'll go back to uncategorized. And then we've got name in there. And let's start by just putting vegan in as a name in the title. And we've got a few there already. So I highlight the top one all the way down to the bottom and then I will just drag them all across to vegan. Now vegan recipes might not say vegan in the title. Maybe select notes, maybe select, oh not ingredients. If you miss select, just click on it again it will go. Maybe description and maybe source earl because sometimes I find that it's in there. Let's see if I've got any extras. No. Nope. The other way to come at vegan is if you've got 
particular people's recipes that you like that you know are vegan and oh what's her name sweet potato soul um so i'm going to look just under the source url still in uncategorized and any category and i'll start putting in sweet potato and you can see i've got some of her recipes there uncategorized so again click on the bottom one click on the top one i want to select and then i'll just drag those across to vegan because i know she's a vegan cook so that's how you can start clearing things really quickly hang on a minute what if you want to do some multi categories well there is a way of doing it so we're going to use the same process but we're going to put ourselves in a different category before we start the searching so go back up to your uncategorized and move instead to all recipes so you can do it right from the search box or you can select it from over here so let's say I've actually got a thing about sweet potatoes at the moment and I want to see everything that's got sweet potatoes in very quickly so I'll add a new category it's easy enough to get rid of these later if I go off sweet potatoes so I'm going to add a category called sweet potatoes and I'm going to open up my search window I'm not going to do name this time I just want to know if it's got sweet potato here as an ingredient you want to search everything any category and I'm going to put sweet potato in I'm not going to put sweet potatoes in or because I'll exclude some and I've got 87 recipes with sweet potatoes in I like that so I'll select the top one just as before select the bottom one and drag these across to sweet potatoes and if this has worked sweet potato breakfast hash sounds good we should now have multi categories and there we have it we've got sweet potatoes and we've got vegan and if you don't know how me and Norma got ourselves into this mess you need to know how easy it is to download recipes into paprika app and to do that you can watch the video that's showing on screen now and I'll see you over there